Hello friends and welcome back to another House of Props unboxing. Today I will open this Luke Skywalker and Grogu Black Series set from Hasbro. I've been seeing it on shelves for a few months, well not a few, but several months now, and I finally managed to get a deal I couldn't pass up. As many of you know, I'm a huge Mandalorian fan, and let's face it, the book of Boba Fett is basically the Mandalorian 2.1. So let's get opening. Before I get started, I'm going to voice my opinion <laughs> about something that I've been seeing. A lot of action figures now are coming out in this plastic free packaging. I understand it's supposed to be better for the environment and that the companies are trying to look eco-friendly and everything, but it's also a big middle finger to collectors and the environment. And let me explain why. First, with, for collectors, this kind of packaging shows you a picture, a photoshopped picture of the toy inside, which is fine. But having packaging like this is going to allow the companies to create poor quality sculpts as time goes on. So far, Star Wars has been keeping the quality very well. But they have the potential now to create crappy sculpts, crappy molds, and hide it behind this packaging. Alright, so my other point, the plastic-free packaging is crap. Th um... There is a plastic tab at the top of this to hang it on a shelf. I don't know specifically what kind of ink they use to print on the cardboard. Most likely a form of acrylic. Acrylic paint is a plastic-based paint. And the box is held together by plastic tape. So your plastic-free packaging is not plastic-free packaging. It might have less plastic than typically, but it's not plastic-free. So, all, for all the companies out there, quit bullshit and your collectors. Alright, so enough of that, and let's get on to the unboxing. Let's, so let's take a look at the box here. We have some great artwork on this angled side, and on this side we have images with measurements of all the pieces included, which it looks like you get a lot of accessories with this. It's artwork all the way around. Looks, looks pretty cool. Alright, so... Unfortunately, with this type of packaging, I'm going to have to do something that I don't like doing, and that's popping it open to actually see what I bought. <laughs> so, let's get this out of here. Okay, so it looks like the got a cardboard insert and some waxish paper packaging around stuff, and some tissue. I think this is Luke. This feels like this is going to be Luke. Get this out. Come on. There we go. Right. Yep, Luke. Alright, and the sculpt looks pretty close to what is represented on the front of the box. This looks really cool. Play him side. Let's get this open. Right, get this. I'm not sure what this is. It's not plastic, but it's not wax paper either. Right, let's get it open. Got some more inside here. Oh, got some tiny, something tiny in here. What is it? Okay, so we got the we got the box, got the train. Or, and got the frog and got Grogu's or uh, Mando's gift for Grogu and a tiny lightsaber. That must that's Yoda's lightsaber that Luke is gonna hand over. With something else is in here. Ah, I think that's that's one of the support things for Grogu when he's jumping. Okay, let's get this open and we have. Oh, we have a backpack and a little Grogu. Very cute. Still got more. I've got like a blast, like explosion thing. <laughs> and got looks like some bases. Got a rock and a clear base. And loose inside here we have an. Luke's lightsaber and this stand. Come on. 
Ooh, this is tight. Hold on. It's come on, get in there. Get in there. There we go. All right. So I guess this is for Grogu to stand, so he, like he can jump really high, but it's a little top heavy. There we go. I don't, I don't know about that as a stand for Grogu. Yeah, I'm gonna put that off to the side. All right, I think what I wanna do is I wanna set this one up like what's on the front of the box where you have Grogu jumping out of the way of the little blast from the training orb. Again, these, these are tight. You gotta be careful putting this in because I could see these snapping very easily. I'll just... Okay, let me, I'm going to use the edge of the knife here to just help snap that in. Luckily, it didn't do any damage. And then it just can slip right in there. And we got like this. And there we go. I right, like that. Cool. Very cool. All right. Oh, wrong lightsaber. Hold on. Give Luke his lightsaber. Okay, I, wait a minute, no, um, he's not left-handed, I think he's right-handed, right? Luckily, these things have flex to them, so that all the pressure you have to put them under to put them together, they do bend a bit. Alright, so, and here we have Yoda's lightsaber, but without... the energy coming out of it. Cool. Then here we have the chainmail shirt wrapped up as a gift from Mando. And we got the little frog. So even these tiny little pieces, they have a lot of detail sculpted into them. So that's that's cool. At least the quality's not suffering. All right, let's try to get this backpack on Luke. So let's see how to do this. Just all right. I'm gonna jump ahead a little bit because this took me a second to figure out. So get it on him, and then getting it reattached takes a little bit of pressure. It's a little tight. There we go. Okay. Now we can take Grogu and put him in the back. And now they're ready to go off running. So I'm going to show you a couple, um, I'll show you some setups here and then show you some clips from the actual episode of where they, they were inspired to create the toy. So, you know, we have Grogu in the backpack where Luke's running through the planet. And then we have Grogu with all his accessories. Um, and the fun thing is the lightsaber actually fits Grogu. So if you wanted to be, have some fun and set Grogu up to where he's got the lightsaber and playing around with it, it'll easily fit in his hand and he'll hold it without a problem. We don't see that in the episode, of course, but it's just something fun to do. So, and then the scene where Luke gives Grogu the option to go back to the Mandalorian to accept his chainmail gift or to accept the Yoda lightsaber and continue on with his training as a Jedi. Okay, Luke is right-handed. I thought he was. That's why he ended up losing the right hand. Sorry about that. A little sidetrack. <laughs> And then with the Grogu with the training orb, you can have him bouncing out of the way, have a little fun energy going on. 
again everything is highly detailed the texture on the rock all the little details on the training or even the blast is it's not showing up too well on camera but it's a translucent translucent plastic to where it's actually glowing some orange so I really like the set. Even though I had to open it, I'm really happy with the quality of the sculpting and all the pieces. You get a lot of accessories so you can display your favorite scene from the episode no matter what it is. The price on the shelves runs about $45 to $46, at least in New York. I think that's a bit steep. I could see it selling for about $30. But anyway, if you get a chance to grab the set, go for it. It's a great addition to the Star Wars Black series and any Star Wars collection. Let me know what you think of this set in the comments below. I would really like to hear your opinions about the figures included and this newish type of packaging that we're seeing. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to House of Props for future unboxing videos. And I'll catch you on the next one.